hello friends welcome to DP tutorials in this tutorial let's learn how we can create an activities report with a list of all predecessors and successors in prime of p6 sometimes you need to make an activity table report showing all the predecessors and successors of each activity let's see how we can do it now here first open a project go to tools and select reports in this report window click on this extreme right side plus button to create a new report click next In select subject area dialog box, select activities as the subject area, click next. Now in this select additional subject areas dialog box, go to this bottom by scrolling and select predecessors and successors. After shifting these predecessor and success to this right side selected subject areas box, click next. Here we can configure these selected subject areas. Select predecessors and click on columns. Select the column you want to show. For example, activity ID and name here. Select the activity ID and click on this edit column to change the title. Here I am changing as predecessors ID that is, that is the new title. Similarly for the activity name I am editing the column as and renaming it the title as predecessors name. Click OK and do the same thing for the successors as well. Successor ID. Click OK. And rename this as successor's name. Click OK. Click OK. Now click Next. Rename the re report title. I am renaming it as predecessors and successors list. Click next. Here click on run report to view the print preview. Click OK. Now you can print the report like this. See friends, it's showing all the predecessors and successors for each activity for our project. It's awesome, right? By using this feature, you can view all the predecessors and successors for the project. So friends, if you have enjoyed this video tutorial, please like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.